well, well, well. <laughs> I bring out a video talking about the weird career of Mike Jackson. And now he's booked to fight a 55-year-old Bat Militic. What the fuck? I knew that they had a, been in talks to have like a kickboxing match, but on October 13th or 14th, not actually sure which one it is, which is weird that they have both dates on this card. It's a special two-night event, apparently. But Mike Jackson will be fighting Pat Militich in a full-sanctioned MMA fight. What the fuck? Like, I don't know. This is weird to me. You know, Pat Militich is a former UFC champion, and... Now he's coming back. He hasn't fought in MMA for about 15 years, I believe. It's been something like that. Let me uh, double check. Uh, he's also... How many years? 16, 17 years uh, older than Mike Jackson. Which is, you know, that's always great. Okay, so Pat Militich hasn't fought in MMA since 2008. Oh, God. <laughs> he did have a kickboxing match against uh, a former boxer, an imprisoned boxer who just came, he came out of prison in 2020 uh, against Michael Nunn, who was, yeah, he was an actual really good boxer, 58 and 4, but he went to prison and then, yeah, that pretty much halted his career in a kickboxing match and they went to a split decision that he lost. But, yeah, I mean, that Michael Nunn, even even older than Pat Militich, but still much better than Mike Jackson. But Mike Jackson's definitely got a big youth advantage here. But skill-wise, chin-wise, you know, he's got a, he's, at a, he's always at a big disadvantage. But I don't know, this is fucking strange to me that Pat Militich is going to come out of retirement to fight Mike Jackson. It's, and it's honestly, it's winnable for Pat, but it's just, it's rough that he's, he's 55 years old. Oh, like, obviously in his prime, he would absolutely run through Mike Jackson. Like it wouldn't even be close, but with his like big age, with a big age difference, it's like, but then again, Mike Jackson's no like, you know, he's no spring chicken either for MMA, like 38, I think, will he be 39 soon? Okay, yeah, so he's already he's turned 38 this year. He's still, you know, that's not that's not young either. It's not like he's in his prime. And in his prime, it's not like he was ever good. And he's just coming off a KO loss as well. Pat Militage hasn't ever been, like, properly KO'd. He's been TKO'd. A lot of them were doctor stoppages. So I think Pat Militage, even in his older age, I think he's going to have, like, a... He's going to be more durable than Mike Jackson, which will be a big, big advantage. Because Mike Jackson's chin's like really not good. He's been dropped in all of his fights in the UFC except for CM Punk. But CM Punk, like it seemed like Punk actually like rocked him for a second when he landed like a flurry. Obviously, he wasn't like super buzzed, like he wasn't super rocked. But still, getting rocked by a CM Punk is like it's a bit sus. And then he, you know, he got knocked down by Dean Barry. Dean Barry was on the way to knocking him out, but then he eye gouged him, and then Pete Rodriguez knocked him out cold. Mickey Gull dropped him in their fight. In his fight against Jeremy Holloway in a Muay Thai fight, got rocked and buzzed a lot with left hooks. So you know the guy's like, he's not very durable. I think, oh, but Pat is so much older. It's like, oh, this is such a weird fight. It's going to be really toxic as well because... They do a press conference. This is going to be like worse than Drikas Duplessis versus Israel Adesanya. Like, yeah, it's just going to be toxic. There's going to be a lot of slurs from Mike Jackson and they, they these two also used to train together. Like they they used to be friends. Like Pat Militich cornered him against CM Punk, and now the now the student and the teacher are fighting each other. But yeah, this is just a weird situation. I. I hope Pat Militich can like you know win this, but it's 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 gonna be tough just because of the age difference, and I can't believe there's a chance Mike Jackson's gonna have a win over a former UFC champion. Like oh my god, no, that's like a horrible timeline. Like a guy who, uh, just just a guy who was like 
who almost lost a round to CM Punk, might have a win over a former UFC welterweight champion. I, uh, I wonder what weight class this is at, because I can't imagine Pat Militich would want to be cutting weight at this point in his life. Uh, let's see. Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is... It's going to be at welterweight, isn't it? Uh, also, on the, uh, the post that they did, they said... Uh, set to, they set to collide. Con, oh Jesus, set to collide in a highly anticipated and controversial battle of skill, age, and ideology. Like, that sounds fucking awful. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a big skill gap for Pat Militic, but yeah, like they say, the age. This clash fueled by personal animosity and stark ideological differences promises to be a fight for the ages, pitting skill against youth, experience against speed. And conservative views against liberally minded agendas. What the fuck? I didn't even read this before. This is such a weird, weird thing. What even promotion is this? Cade, caged aggression MMA. Oh, what a weird, what a weird fucking thing. Like, that's, like, yeah, there's a big age difference here, which just really worries me. Okay, wait. Look at topology. So this is catch weight one seventy five. Okay. Okay, that makes it a little more interesting, I reckon. Just because you know it's it's five pounds. You know, it's not the biggest thing, but Militich is like probably going to be a lot like bulkier than Mike Jackson. Mike Jackson used to fight at lightweight. He missed weight in his lightweight fights, but like he's like a. I think that's just a lack of discipline that he missed weight because he's not like a big welterweight. It's just a tall, skinny guy. So maybe Militic can actually get something going in this fight. But, God, just the age gap is like... Yeesh. Uh, yeah, 55 years old and Mike Jackson will be 38. It's such a weird, weird fight. Like... Oh my god. Just this is the weirdest timeline. I hope this fight does happen though. This just it'll be so funny to watch. If Mike Jackson loses to a fifty five year old Pat Militage, that's just like amazing. And if he does manage to win, then do him versus Jake Shields next. Fuck it, why not? You know, Mike Jackson's on this little crusade. Do him versus Jake Shields next, you know, that's the fight to make if he wins. Or if he loses, fuck it. Jake Shields has a personal agenda against him. They got conflicting ideologies as well. But yeah, that that I'll I'll end it there. I'll probably I'll go more in depth about this fight later on the uh, the podcast. <laughs> but oh jeez, like this was something that was weird to wake up to because I was speaking about how they're meant to be having a kickboxing match, but MMA is like interesting, like. Oh God! Wait, let me look at Pat Militich's record. Like, if he, if Mike Jackson wins, then MMA math. Like, imagine the MMA math that you can get from this. Like, you could. Oh my God! <laughs> like, <laughs> you'd be able to say that Mike Jackson can beat Shoney Carter. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy, like, Pat Militic, I honestly could just, like, take him down and sub him, I reckon. Like, I, I think he'll, he's going to have a big advantage in the grappling, but, yeah, this, this, this is weird that a former UFC champion is fighting Mike Jackson, and Mike Jackson has, like, a decent shot. Just because of age, though, if this was in the primes, obviously, Mike Jackson would get destroyed by Pat Militic, but... Oh, you know, Father Time does what Father Time does. But, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll break... We'll talk about this more later, but just I thought I'd give a little... Uh, just a little talk about this fight and how weird it is. The, the weird career of Mike Jackson continues, but finally out of the UFC. So now he's... Just his general MMA career is just fucking weird. I'll end it on that. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for listening.